All right, here we go. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News, and here's today's first story. A cat who's too good for dry food, really going to town on his anus. A cat that refuses to eat dry food appears to have no qualms about enthusiastically licking his own anus. Three-year-old Tabby Salem treats a bowl of kibble with withering contempt while believing that raising a leg in the air to give himself a thorough 30-minute anal tonguing is absolutely fine, perhaps even something of a treat. Owner Martin Bishop said, It's not like I get the cheap stuff, the cheap stuff, but he glances at the bowl and at me as if I'd mortally insulted him and then get stuck right into his back end. It's a pretty harsh condem condemnation of the dry food. How bad must it be if you'd rather rim yourself? <laughs> That's even worse than a Ginster's. Hmm, I'll have to look that one up. I don't know what that is. Christ, at least come up rare occasionally. Apparently Salem the cat can talk. What I'm doing is totally natural, which is more than I can say for that processed shit you try to get me to eat. Fair enough. Believe me, if the only meal you had to look forward to came in the shape of uniform pellets, you'd find your own bum a suitably fascinating diversion too. Well, well Salem the tabby may have something there. All right, let's move on to our next story, shall we? Woman calls off wedding to ghost after he turns to partying, to partying and drugs on holiday. All right, there's a video. I'll put the link in the description if you want to follow up and watch that video. I'm just going to read the story. A woman has called off her wedding to a ghost after he fell into a bad gang and started taking drink and drugs while they were holidaying together. Ameth Amethyst Realm joined Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield on today's episode of This Morning, where she lifted the lid on her heartbreak, explaining that she called things off with Ray, Ray must be the ghost, and used Sage to keep him at bay. We've called the wedding off she said. It was going really well until we went on holiday, and that was about last May, and then he completely changed. I think maybe he fell in with a bad crowd when we were on holiday. He just started becoming really inconsiderate. He disappeared for long periods of time, and when he did come back, he'd bring other spirits to the house, and they'd just hang around for days. Sounds like some of my buddies. Phil asked whether or not Ray offered any explanation to the change in his behavior, to which Amethyst responded, I think he started doing drugs and partying a bit much. He used to come back and these spirits would stay for days at a time. There'd be crashing and banging and strange noises. An intrigued Phil then demanded to know where exactly Ray was partying, was partying it up. Was he partying in the spirit world or was he partying in this world? Well, he was partying in both. Judging by him disappearing and then coming back to mine, Amethyst first made headlines in 2017 after declaring that she had sworn off men with pulses and was only having sex with ghosts. She announced her engagement to Ray, the ghost, in 2018, but worried she'd scare him off if she talked about having babies. <laughs> yeah, I think she'd scare anybody off. All right, let's move on to our next story, shall we? 15 old technologies still in use well past their expiration date. It's 2020, where's my flying car? We yell into our park pocket computers 
Exactly. Where is my flying car? All right. Here's 15 things that are still in use. VCRs were made until 2016. I'll blow this up a little bit. Number 14, U.S. nuclear weapons relied on floppy disk until uh, yesterday. <laughs> we don't mean the cute plasticky things on your save button. We're talking about 8-inch monstrosities from the 70s that couldn't hold a single photo taken with your phone. The system was finally upgraded. Wasn't upgraded until 2019. Government in action. The Pentagon still uses Windows XP. Government in action. There are still 100,000 payphones in the U.S. Man, it's good. Drug dealers use old Nokia phones. And the legal use is still use, isn't it? Drug dealers prefer old handsets as their movements are harder to trace with those, with the Nokia 8210 being a favorite. I remember when I had that phone. <laughs> you can still send an old school telegram. Awesome. Finances run on an ancient computer language. Three trillion dollars moves every day through ATMs, banking services, and other financial systems programmed in COBOL, a computer language from the 50s. Only older programmers are usually trained in it, which is shaping up to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, they're probably all dying off. Audio jacks were invented in the 19th century. The jack you use today to plug in your headset is just a smaller version of the one created in 1870s for telephone switchboards. Well, hey, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Vinyl records sell as much as CDs. I don't know how that's possible. I don't even know one single place to get a vinyl record. I suppose online. There certainly aren't any stores where I'm at. Rural America still uses dial-up internet. Okay, fair enough. Airports use dot matrix printers. Okay, just have to take the word, I guess. Next time I'm at the airport, I'm going to check it out. Number four, the NYPD still use typewriters as of 2015. Yeah, that's kind of like the FBI. They don't record interviews. They use what's called a 302 form and they fill it out and they go look at those again, which is very weird. Number three, hospitals share patient records through fax. I don't know. I, I have a hard time believing some of these. However, I'll put in the link in the description, and every one of these has a source, so who knows? Number two, doctors still use pagers. Once again, hard to believe, but who knows? The IRS uses a 60-year-old computer system. When you file your taxes, they are processed by the individual master file, a computer program written in the 60s. Modernization plans have existed for years, but have yet to become real. The source for that, number one, is NextGov. Okay, well, if you say so. That was kind of an interesting list. Okay, and the last thing on our episode today is... A woman tries to get her dog to pose with her engagement ring on its nose. What could go wrong? Exactly, what could go wrong? Here's some pooches posing with the wedding rings on their nose. Well, let's see what could go wrong. Okay, Thor. 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 Come here, Thor. Come here. Sit. 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 Stay. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that just happened. And uh, yeah, there it is. So got to wait for that to come out. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of the Aimless News. 
go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. But the best thing you can do for helping this channel grow is to share this video far and wide. Because remember, the aimless news must be told. <laughs>